And now for the surprise. Yeah, as Campbell said, the next speaker is a bit of a surprise. You won't find her in your program. Stacy Garlington is an aerial photographer who uses drones. She has dedicated herself towards bettering the arts through the use of new technology. And let us, let us help welcome Stacy Garlington. That's good. Go ahead. Hello. Uh, show a hand. Have at least one drone in your household today. Wow, a lot of you. All right. How many of you had a drone in your household ago? Ooh, only a couple, huh? Drones are the fastest growing product in the tech industry right now. Uh, back when I was in high school, it was personal home computers, and then came cell phones. It's very likely that your generation will become known as the drone generation. Are you guys ready for that? There's a very real chance that several of you in this audience uh, will have a job in the drone industry someday. It's a pretty cool job, I have to admit. So DJI is the largest developer in, uh, of consumer drones in the world today. Uh, just three years ago, DJI created the Phantom One quadcopter. And although it looks like a toy, it was the world's most stable aerial platform ever created. DJI started the, the drone revolution with the Phantom One. Overnight, uh, the Phantom made aerial photography both affordable and accessible to anyone at any time. DJI now has over 5,000 employees worldwide, and we offer a whole line of uh, commercial and consumer drones. So where do I fit in? Well, my story is a bit unusual. Here I am, working for the hottest tech company in the fastest growing industry on the planet. My office is in Silicon Valley. I have a second office in Shenzhen, China. And I get to travel the world te teaching people about my passion, drones. Before joining DJI, I was a housewife from a small town in Illinois. I spent my days doing typical housewife stuff, like cooking and cleaning and walking the dog. But I had a lifelong dream. And my, that dream was to create beautiful photographs of humpback whales improbable dream, considering I live 4,000 miles from the nearest whale sanctuary, but regardless, each day I took one small step towards that dream. I had decided that no matter what, I would find a way to photograph a whale in a way that had never been done before. But that isn't an easy thing to do, especially in an industry saturated with considerable talent. How could I stand out? How could I create something that had yet to be created? Now, I'm not a person who excelled at school. I don't have a, a college degree. In fact, I've never even taken a single art class. But I had something that was far more important than all of those things. I had a dream, and I made a choice to pursue happy. So, how did I fall into this world of drones? Three years ago, a friend of mine was flying uh, his drone on a kayak and hovered it over the ocean. Now, I thought he was completely nuts, <laughs> but I was uh, pretty impressed seeing it fly. So, later that day, and you're not going to be able to see this slide, but we'll show you later down at X-Labs. Later that day, um, he showed me a photo of a humpback whale directly underneath my kayak. Um, and I didn't know it at the time, but that photo was about to change my life completely. That was when I realized that a drone could offer me the opportunity or the, the perspective to achieve my goal. So I went on Amazon and I ordered this flying thing, 
uh, was the DJI Phantom 1, knowing I would probably just crash it into a million pieces. When it arrived, I ripped open the box and sat face to face with this two and a half pound, blinking, buzzing, flying, technological marvel. And that's when I knew that I was in this way over my head. <laughs> so I did what any woman would do in this situation. I read the manual. <laughs> I practiced, and I rewarded myself with chocolate each time I flew. <laughs> it didn't take very long to become comfortable flying, maybe a week. After about a month or so, I gained enough confidence to fly it off my kayak for the first time. The drone and I was eager to learn everything I could about aerial uh, photography. Soon after, I bought my second drone, the DJI Phantom II. Uh, the technology was rapidly progressing to a point that I was able to concentrate on my photography rather than crashing my drone. So simple, in fact, that even a housewife could do it. My head started spinning with the infinite possibilities of from the sky. I realized that every single photo I took was from a perspective never before seen by others. My fear of technology was replaced by fearlessly dreaming the potential of aerial imaging. The flying camera made the otherwise impossible shot possible. Now, around the world, uh, people began to notice my photos, and one day, I got a phone call from someone at Forbes magazine. I nearly passed out when he asked to publish one of my photos in an upcoming issue. A couple months later, I got a call from Time magazine. They included a different one of my photos in an article entitled, entitled World's... Uh, what was it? Most beautiful drone photos of 2015. Now, keep in mind, three years ago, I didn't even know what a drone was. So it became obvious to me that drones were about to become a huge part of our world in so many different ways. I began to understand how they could be used uh, as tools, much like computers or cell phones. The modern-day farmer, for example, is able to use his drone to determine changes in the nitrogen level of his crops. A veterinarian is able to fly a thermal camera over a feedlot and determine which cows are sick or pregnant. A scientist can take a photo from the exact sky month after month to document coral reef erosion. First responders now use drones to quickly assess the scene following a natural disaster like an earthquake. Now, as for me, I'm going to continue to follow the world. Never before seen by man. Thanks. <laughs>